Welcome to Chuck Builds. Today I have a video on how to use Google Photos inside of the self-hosted photo tool called Image. Google Photos has been my go-to photo host for a while and I really like Image so far, but it's not the same if it doesn't have all of your existing photos. I am using a tool called Image Go and my Google Takeout download of my Google Photos to populate that into my self-hosted image server and i'm going to walk you through it i've done this once already i'm just going to run through it again instead of migrating my database because i've only been using it for a few weeks now and i've got all my photos here so all the steps in this video are already published on my website chuck-builds.com and this is where you can get the links real quick. I'll have it in the description as well, but if you like a written format, I've got this up here. The tool that we're using is called Image. It's a self-hosted backup for photos and videos from your iPhone or Android device, your mobile device. I like it a lot. It's pretty nice. It's just like Google Photos, except I can use the storage I already have and Docker containers and stuff that I'm already running to save some money and back up full resolution videos and photos and access it anywhere and hopefully cut down on my Google One storage <laughs> subscription. All the information about this and installing it is on their website, but today we'll be using a script called Image Go. And what this does is it takes your Google Takeout where you download all of your data from Google and then you can process your photos, your Google photos, and upload it straight to image. Everything that I'm doing in this video came from the readme file and on their GitHub. So if you want to see the official options and everything that's out there, this is where I got it all from. I'm not doing anything unique to it. I'm just recording my process because I did it recently and it was a little tricky to figure out the first time. So the first thing that we need to do is download this image go. And so we'll come down to releases. And then I'm going to get it for Windows x86-64, because I'm on a 64-bit. We'll let that download. And then we'll also go to our Google Takeout. I'll have a link for this in the description or takeout.google.com. And this is all of your Google data. So we're going to deselect that so that there's 0 out of 56 selected. And then we're going to scroll down to Google Photos. We'll check that box, and we want everything. So multiple formats and all photo albums. So once you have that, you'll come down to next step, choose how you're going to receive your download. You can add it to your drive or send the link via email. I did via email, export once for the frequency. You don't want this to be going every two months for a year. File type, we want zip and then file size. If your computer and internet can support it, I'd go up to 50 gig. The difference between the 50 gig with three links to click versus I think the two gig where I had 35 links to click. Save yourself some time, just do the 50 gig if you can, or if you have a big enough Google Drive, dump that into your drive and just download it from there. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is create a folder and we'll call it image go. And inside of the folder, we're going to put our takeout files that are still zipped up. So once your takeout files are copied, you also want to put the image go um, exe and readme. So once you've got image go and your Google takeout in one folder, um, you probably want to read the readme just to just to have it and know what's going on and see what your options are. But if you are just following along with me, we'll be using one of the commands from the readme. It'll tell you what all you need to do. And so the command that we'll be running that we've copied out of the readme, I just put it in um, a text file real quick so we can see it. We're gonna need our server IP. And so this is your image server IP. And then your port, 8082 is mine. Um, it depends on what your web port is for your image server. And then we're also gonna come over to the API key and I have it as XXX API key goes here. What you're gonna do in image when you're logged into your account, is go to account settings, API keys, new API key, and then we'll call it something and you're only gonna get to see this once. So be ready to copy it and then paste it here with your uh, text file. And so we have image-go, our server, our API key. We're uploading our files. We're doing a dry run so we can see what happens before it gets uploaded. We want to create albums with the albums that I already had in Google Photos. The import type is Google Photos. And then the file is called takeout dash and then a asterisk for a wildcard. 
And what that does is it points to our takeout files here, takeout dash, and then anything after that. So it'll look at all three of these files. So we're gonna wanna select this text or this string that we have to paste. To actually run the script, we're going to open in terminal inside of the folder that has the takeout in the image go exe. And then we'll just paste and we'll press enter and it's going to connect to the server make sure that it can connect and then do a dry run here we have 25,000 files 11,000 metadata they would all get uploaded and then we'd have 148 discarded because of options selected which is i think duplicates and then we have three that are file types not supported which are three gpp um, I'm not worried about just three photos not making it. To actually execute it, we're gonna paste it again and remove the dry run. And so here we'll press enter. And after we press enter, it's gonna run for a while. So the script just finished and we have the same output that we expected earlier from the dry run. But now if we come into image and refresh, we can see that there's images here and it'll take a minute to run through the scheduled jobs of generating thumbnails. We can see here that it's running and it has 11,000 more to go. So at this time, I would advise you to kind of hang out. I wouldn't start really using it. I'd let it process through all the scheduled jobs and get through all that and maybe um, come through tomorrow and see what's there and, and how it works. I've been pretty impressed by it so far. Get the app on your phone, get it set up. Any new photos you take will automatically be backed up as well. Thanks for watching. Let me know if it works or if you need any help.